We are in the cabin here and uh, we are, I'm getting ready to um, venture out on the last couple of days of the Michigan uh, gun season here. And this is kind of in a preparation of some videos that I have coming down the road here. Um, I've touched on this in the past videos, but if you guys follow along at all, you'll know that I feel pretty strongly about uh, the success of late season hunting um, all over the country, but especially here um, in a high pressured state such as Michigan with the uh, climate that we have uh, going into the, the rest of the year. Uh, where we start getting those, um, when we start getting those low temps and uh, the deer are able to um, actually, re you know, recover, start re rebounding from a whole different lot of, uh, a lot of things. Um, one being pressure, two obviously being the, uh, the, you know, start going back on that uh, destination feed location patterns and uh, really start going, uh, you know, packing on the pounds and getting that protein um, and those carb carb carbs needed. Uh, to you know survive the winter and that's kind of what we're gonna we're gonna talk about here in some upcoming videos but today's uh, video you have to be able to be there when it when it uh, counts right you have to be able to be in the in the stand when the weather's right when a front's coming in when the temperatures are dropping in a state in a state like the Midwest or the Northeast here like Michigan for example where this can be so powerful to connect with a deer like that um, in these next couple of weeks but you have to be able to be there. And that's where this video ties in. Um, this is a regiment that I've been using for years to keep me comfortable. Um, like I said, if you guys follow along at all, you'll know that my past, uh, my, with my back injury um, and back surgery and medication that I have to be on because of my back is uh, I cannot stay warm anymore. And it's getting harder and harder to accomp accomplish these late season hunts. Um, but this regimen that I, that I do is the only way that I um, do that. We've upped our quality of our boots lately. Uh, we went to the um, dry shod, the Arctic Storm uh, uh, dry shod boots that are rated for 50 below and uh, they're a little heavier. They're not near as heavy as some of those, you know, uh, 22, 2500, um, you know, um, grains of tinselate boots that you get some of those pack boots, if you will. Uh, but so I've stepped up to that. But the, the uh, regimen that we're going to talk about today is, is um, this here is as far as your, your hand warmers and your, um, you know, so the hand warmers and the mega warmers are the two products that I use here. They're both, you know, a, a Graber uh, products and there's uh, a couple other ones that I've used in the past. These are the ones that I, you know, find more available here in our area. So what I, this is what the regimen that I do. Um, I've learned this years ago, and like I said, this is the only thing that's got me through the season. And the reason that I'm bringing this to you is so you can experience a more comfortable hunt and you can extend your season here a little bit longer. Because the fact of the matter is, guys, a lot of people fall off this time of the year. And um, I think that's, um, you know, and that, that sometimes that, you know, gets that, uh, that three-year-old deer, two- or three-year-old three deer to the next age class, right, for next year. But there's a huge opportunity coming down the road here, and especially... What I see in the distant forecast here, going through the rest of our gun season into the early bow season here, um, you know, up until a couple of week or a week or so before Christmas, um, hope, I'm hoping to be one of those that uh, you know fills a tag during that time, and, and maybe this will help you too. So, the, what's the regimen? The regimen is here on the uh, staying warm. Is obviously you know you got to have your all of your extremities have to be um, covered and protected. And you have to be able to, um, you know, um, collect that heat and not let that heat escape. Um, so this is this is what I do. One, obviously, I have a I have a beanie on my my head. I go I don't wear a ball cap unless it's real warm. Um, I have a um, I'll show you. It's a neck gaiter, so it's a helmet liner. If you will. one is a helmet liner, and I use my black helmet liner. Um, that's you know the fuzz bottom or the fleece bottom with the helmet liner tops. Um, I use that, it's a snowmobile helmet liner, if you will, the guys that, uh, you know, know the snowmobile world, uh, you know, apparel world, but that's, that's what I use in the ground blind, uh, when it's not extremely cold. And then I use, obviously I have my, um, I have that, uh, my, that, you know, uh, baklava that I use and that is a, it's a whole insulated deal. It's actually, I'll show you pictures of it here. 
And the reason that I don't like to use it in the ground blind with bow is because it's kind of lighter colored. I don't have a black one and I need to find one because, you know, to kind of fit in the um, internal of that uh, with that bow and I don't have to have that orange on. Um, but so starting with your head, all of that, um, all of that heat escapes your head, especially when you have no hair on the top of your head um, to help control that. Like I um, have been blessed with my whole life. Uh, so. I have you have to be able to control that heat uh, escaping and the the one of the you know that we talked about the boots making sure you got good quality boots and the other end of that is your head and what I do guys is this um, these mega warmers since we're on that portion of our body is this this these mega warmers what I do is I'm going to open these right now anyway because I'm going to be heading out here in the woods here shortly um, they're about an eight, these, these things are an 18 hour, they claim 18 hours. And when they say 18 hours, I'm, they're not exaggerating. I've got, um, I've actually, um, believe it or not, I've got, I've, I've actually got two hunts out of one of these before. Uh, but these are the, the, the big, they're like three, three inches wide, two inches tall, three by three, whatever they are. Um, what I do with this is, you know, they say not to directly put this on your skin. So you can have a, I used to wear a, um, I used to wear a turtleneck, but the way to hold these on, what I do is I place this right on the back of my neck. Uh, that goes right on the back of my neck and then my helmet liner goes up on or my baklava goes on. And that thing I also do is you can take your hoodie, fold your hoodie over like that. And then I put this on the back of my neck. That goes right on to hold that in. And then my baklava goes down over the top of it. And it holds that right on the back of my neck. And boy, I'm telling you what, you want to talk about a game changer. That right there, that little piece of the puzzle, I think I could do away with some of these other things I'll, I'll show you, share, share with you here. That is a huge, huge, you take that thing off, your body instantly starts to cool down when you get to the truck or sometimes on the way out, I'll pull it out before I start walking or whatever. Um, that thing is, but like I said, they do recommend that you don't put it directly on your skin. Take their advice. I've never had a problem with it burning me or anything, but, um, that's what they claim to do. So put that on your neck. That's one of the spots, your head, obviously, you, you know, if you, uh, um, if it's really extreme cold, you can put one of these on your, in your beanies as well. These things are very, very powerful. They get extremely warm. Um, so that takes care of the head. What is the other, the other, uh, parts here is obviously your hands. Um, you, I, I wear a, I've got a, um, a hand warmer that I put, uh, a muff that I put my hands in. Um, and I don't have, I broke the one that I've always had for years. The straps ripped off from it a few years ago and I need to get a, uh, another one, but the one I've got now is kind of a makeshift, but I, you know, the one that go, they go around your waist, it's a hand warmer. Um, right now dur during the rifle season, what I've been doing is I just, my, my coat is pretty warm. So what I do is I just put my hands in my coat, but there's a tip here that I learned years ago, actually uh, giving credit where credit is due to hold these in place. I actually started using socks years ago around my, you cut a, you know, you cut the end of a sock out and you put a wool sock around the top of your glove. So there's no, there's no way for the, um, like, here's a perfect example. You know, you got your arm out and you got your coat on and your glove, the top of your glove. There's always this part of your hand that's ex could be exposed or something and you'd be shocked because what it is guys is any place on your body your head your hands your feet your knees that your blood vessels are closest to your skin is where that controls your starts to control your your temperature of the of your body so what i would do with these is i've got two of them they come in uh, two packs here so i just took the one out um what they what i do i'll take the other one out here as well to get this activated uh what i do as you, you know, you sometimes you have to shake them or whatever to get them activated. What I do, guys, is is my gloves. Excuse me, have the have a, a a tight wrist. I've also done is I've also taken my daughter's hair ties and done this. You don't want it too tight because you know you don't want to start getting to a point where you start losing circulation. Um, but something to hold it there. If your if your coat is able to hold it there or your gloves are able to hold them, what I do is I put these right on the back of my wrist, just like that. And I put the gloves over the top of them and they stay there. And boy, I'm telling you what, my hands will hardly ever, my fingers, I've got uh, frostbit from snowmobile, uh, snowmobiling and stuff on my, uh, you know, tips of my fingers. And um, hunting one time, I got caught out too late and uh, couldn't get back and, and uh, got some, you know, da damage on my fingers. But my gloves, 
inside. So the, this is on my wrist, and then I have my obviously a good set of gloves, and then I put those on in you know my coat as well. But I, I'm here to tell you this this right here alone, you can get away with much lighter glove because it heats your whole. It keeps you know my experience is it keeps my whole hand warm. But that right there is another spot where all the blood vessels are close to the surface. And uh, that's just another, right now, as soon as I put this on here, I mean, my body temperature, and I'm in the house here, we're 68 degrees, and my body temperatures already are climbing. So that on the back of your neck, one of these on each, the, your wrist, and like I said, you got to keep them there so they don't slide around, but I keep them right at the, right where your palm starts there. And uh, so I got one there, uh, one on each wrist, the mega pack on the back, and then if your boots aren't, um, staying up to speed then what I do is I'll take these they actually make foot warmers I haven't um, I haven't had the foot warmers uh, produce as much maybe there's some out there that do they have them that actually look like uh, insoles you know um, but I I haven't had those much luck with those um, I just up my power of my boots a little bit in, in my socks wool socks I wear a regular white sock with a wool sock over in those boots haven't had a problem with them yet um, but I actually, what I can do is I put my white sock on and then I put these right at the base of my toes, you know, put this right underneath my, underneath my toes and then put my wool sock over it. And then your, you know, your foot sits in your boot like that. And that, um, that is my go-to. So you've got a um, dollar, two dollars, three dollars will, per hunt, will save your, and I, you know, it, I, like I said, I've done one at night and reached in my pocket and this thing was still warm. I threw it on my pocket, my neck the next morning and, and it was great uh, and, it, and it worked. I would recommend, you know, for three bucks, just throwing them out at night. Uh, make sure that you, one thing I do want to touch on is I see all the time, kind of one of my pet peeves, especially out on public ground, uh, I see these things all over the place and these are toxic. You do not want your dogs eating these. You do not want to leave these out in the woods where deer or squirrels or the turkeys or anything can get them because they are toxic and um, I don't know exactly um, if you know human rating if you were to eat these what would happen but um, you just you know bring them with you make sure you bring them out of the woods you know leave it cleaner than you found it kind of thing um, that is my go-to guys that gets me through this these uh, these cold temps that are coming here you have to be able to be there and you have to be able to be stationary especially if you're on a stand um, hanging off the side of a tree if you're warm, you're not moving. If you're not moving, you're not getting picked off. So that is the uh, that is the moral of the story here. That is the the tip here for for you. Um, starting this uh, next couple of videos that we got coming down the road about late season hunting, and this is my go-to. So in review, one of these on your neck, uh, the big the mega pack they call them on your neck. I've got one on each wrist, and then if you need. You can put them in your, your boots as well. Um, so uh, I've had guys that put them on their knees, put these on their knees because obviously your knees are tight where your blood vessels are running through. Um, since I've up, uh, I've got a pretty good, you know, warm set of bibs, I haven't had to do that, but they, you know, you, you know, put a piece of um, uh, uh, athletic tape around your knees there, around your pants and hold these on. And they say that really works as well. This is what I do. So for about $3 and about four pieces here, of these uh, Graver um, hand warmers. I highly recommend uh, trying this. If you haven't tried this yet, um, pick a cool uh, evening sit coming, coming up here in the late season. Give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. Thanks guys.